All right, here we go. Time for me to accept that I'm old as f Hey everyone, my name is Jacob and I'm here to make you look better. I just want to say this might be a little bit more of a serious video. I think it's really important for me to express these lessons that I've learned. So I'm doing this video, 25 lessons that I've learned in 25 years of living. I just wanna say this might make me really emotional because I feel like I've been through a lot. And I'm not saying anyone else is, doesn't go through a lot, I'm just letting you know that, you know, you're not alone. It's okay. So first, I think is really important is be as independent as you can. Don't try and rely on a lot of people for things that you can do yourself. The point is rely on yourself because in the at the end of the day, you're going to be there for yourself no matter what. Like they always say, you're born alone and you die alone. Next is do everything possible to make you happy and that could be anything be selfish because you deserve it another one that ties in with this is live life to the fullest extent because you never know what could happen to you you could be here one day and then gone the next this is something that i've been working on really trying to embrace in my life since i've been through a lot of tragedies especially especially this year i've literally just been doing anything that I can to make myself happy because it's when you are happy life just seems like so much easier and so much better know that your 20s especially your mid 20s up until your 30s is a time of self-discovery it's a time for you to realize who you are to accept who you are and to you know take a journey through life that you've never experienced before. Something that I've dealt with over the last seven years but it has kind of progressed through my 20s is it's okay to be single. Being single is something, it's a time of self-discovery. You need to find out who you are, you know, just accept who you are and everything will follow through. Just take your time, you know, don't rush into anything. Just go with the flow. Number seven is actually, should have been my number one topic, but family is extremely important. You don't have to rely on them. Well, I mean, I guess you can rely on your family because most of the time they're gonna love you no matter what. I know a lot of people struggle with, you know, family. For me, in my 20s now, and now that I'm like more mature and I have a more sense of self, I've learned to reconnect with my family and love them. I lost my dad in October, which has been really hard for me. And it's one of those things where it's like, it was kind of expected because he was sick for a while, but it was still like a really big shock for me. And it's one of, you know how like you always feel you're not spending enough time with someone when they pass away? That's kind of how I feel, but I, I have this like sense of relief for him because he's no longer suffering. I feel like he'll always be with me in spirit. I'm sorry, you know, just, just love your family. Spend as much time with them if you can. Next one is traveling. I started traveling a lot more within the last two years because that's something that I've always wanted to do. It's a dream of mine to like see the whole world, you know? So now that I'm like about to finish school, I, I have more money than I can really do anything with. Oh, I'm, I'm going to take this time, especially this next year in 2018, to travel, you know, and just experience the world. That's all I want to do. Traveling, I feel like is a part of your self-discovery. It's a journey that you, I feel like you should take for yourself because it's gonna be something that helps you grow into such an open-minded and loving person. For me, especially, you know, I've had pets growing up, but I've always had someone there to help me raise a pet, like dogs. I love dogs. If I could like own a shelter, I would. That's something that I really kind of want to invest in. I got a puppy. I've raised him since he was two months old. He's 13 months now. And he's literally been like the best blessing in my life so far. Like he has just taught me to be so much more responsible because I'm, I have to take care of something that's living and that teaches me to, you know, take care of myself. Next one is retirement. So in your mid twenties, you know, you, you should have like a serious job. You shouldn't, I mean, you live your life. But for me, it's like, okay, I need to get a serious job. I need to finish college so I can do what I love to do. Planning for your retirement as early as you can is like so important because you want to be 
able to retire at as early as you can so that way you can just you know, live your life and just rest. And I feel like that's so important, especially for me, because there's so many things that I want to do and I hate working. But planning for retirement, I feel like, is really important. Number 11, this is something that I've learned, especially since my father passed. Death is inevitable. You know, I've lost so many people over the last few years. It's something that it's you just can't control. You know, it's going to happen. You know, everyone's going to die at some point. So that's something that you, sh I feel like, people need to accept and just embrace it because I believe in resurrection so I believe when you die you're reborn into something else it's just a circle of life next one super super important take care of yourself whether that's mentally physically emotionally for me over this last year you know I was diagnosed with bipolar depression and general anxiety disorder and that's something that I've been struggling with since the beginning of the year and it's had such a huge impact on my life. It doesn't define who I am, but I, I, it's so important to take care of your mental health. That's like number one, because you know, mental health, it's not a topic that a lot of people talk about and I feel like it's super important. It's something really private and deep to me is that I had two suicide attempts this year. One was in June and one was just recently at the, I wanna say at the end of October, maybe beginning, beginning of December, it's something that I, I struggle with, you know, I don't want to die, but I, I get overwhelmed with all of the stress and emotional things that are happening in my life, and I just like can't take it anymore, and it's because I'm not dealing with my problems and I'm not coping very well. 13 is, is something that I've learned to accept as well. It's okay to take your time with school, you know, it's always going to be there, you're always going to have the opportunity to finish school, so just take your time and do what you can. Take whatever great opportunity that comes your way. I'm not saying like every single opportunity that comes your way you should take it, but if it's something that's really gonna benefit you and that you really feel like strong about, just do it because life, like I said, life is way too short. Listen to your instinct goes along with that too. If something doesn't feel right to you, don't do it. You know, take a step back and move on with your life. If something feels amazing and you're like, oh, I really wanna do this, just do it. You know, just make sure that you're being smart about it. Don't do something that's really going to, like, affect your life in, like, a, like a financial, emotional, whatever way that's really going to hurt you. But don't waste your time with people who don't make an effort with you. This is something that I've struggled with, too, especially over the past couple years. You know, people will say, oh, my gosh, I, I love you and I care about you, and then it's like you don't hear for them, which is fine. We're all adults. We all live our life. But it's like when I meet someone and when I'm trying to make a connection with someone and I don't feel like I'm getting anything back, that's it for me like I don't care because I don't need you don't ever feel obligated to explain yourself to anyone like if you feel the way you feel express it and leave it at that because at the end of the day like I said you don't have to worry about people I don't worry about people who don't like you this kind of ties all together because it's like if someone doesn't like you the way you are that's not your problem that is their problem and love yourself take care of yourself it's so important to love yourself if you don't love yourself then how the hell are you gonna love anybody else can I get an amen you can't change people people are gonna be the way they are you either have to accept it or you have to move on if you don't like it then don't even waste your time and just know that it gets better, life gets better. Take your struggles in a positive way, like, okay, I'm gonna get through this, this is making me such a stronger person, and I'm gonna be okay. And don't stress over things that you can't control, you know, like, for instance, death. It's gonna go the way it goes, things happen for a reason. Accept your failures, this is super important, because it's like, your failures, you can turn that into a positive way, like I just said. Also, especially in your 20s, this is like, insane to me that I never really like thought about it but you're gonna change throughout your life even like month to month year to year as you learn and grow through life and take your journey to you know wherever you're going you're gonna change and that's okay accept it last but not least don't ever apologize to anyone if you feel the way you feel just accept it move on with your life because like I said at the end of the day, the only person that you can rely on is yourself. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I got emotional. Oh, don't apologize. I'm glad I got emotional because I need to express my feelings. And I don't mind sharing that with you guys because, you know, you guys are going to get to know me as I take this journey. And I think it's super important. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. And um, like I always said, I'll have my discount code for Nora NYC so you can get some nice ass 
glasses. I want you guys to have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.